And here we go. I'm going to read this for you right here. Um, a couple of weeks ago, Alejandra Jimenez won the WBC 168-pound women's title from for Sean Cruz Desern, a Golden Boy fighter, on um, the Zone. I forgot what the main event was. What was it? Oh, on um, the undercard of um, um, Jaime Munguia versus Gary Spiegel Sullivan. I got a chance to cover that fight. If you don't know what fight it was, it was the boxer who. Her weave came off. Her wig came off. You know, in between rounds nine and ten or something like that. You know, it was some viral shit. But the boxer, this woman right here, well, she doesn't look like that now, by the way. In fact, let me show you what she looks like right now. This is what she looks like now. She came down from 200 something pounds. Forgot the exact number down to this now obviously you know she's homosexual um she is a woman for all the people that were like oh yeah this is a man nah she's got a kid but the thing is i was questioning myself like you know for example she was saying that she could fight clarissa shields at 160 pounds when she weighed in, she weighed in well below the 168 pound limit. Pretty much the, you know, that's what fighters usually do to show that they can fight in the weight division below that. And then as you can see, she's fought as high as 237 pounds, 235, uh, 236 and a half. And then that was just two years ago. And now she's down to 164. That raises a lot of questions. So let's see here. Do they, let me see, do they say what she failed for? So it's extremely unfortunate to learn that WBC and WBO super middleweight world champion Alejandro Jimenez, 13 and 0, 13 0 and 1 with 9 KOs, has tested positive for banned substances after her title fight with for, uh, for Sean Cruz de Zern, 6 and 2 with 2 KOs on January the 11th, said Oscar De La Hoya chairman, and you know, blah, blah, blah. As friend Sean's promoter, we are incredibly disappointed for her as she worked incredibly hard to defend her titles. However, our job is to ensure the safety of our fighters, both inside and outside of the ring thus we have always insisted and supported testing through vada for all of our world championship fights Jimenez's fight against french on cruz de Zern is no exception now our job is to find justice for french by working closely with the wbc and the wbl in order to reinstate her as world champion now here's from the wbc now this is pretty long-winded here I don't want to read all this. I'm just trying to find out, you know. So the WBC, well, Vada notified the WBC that a sample collected on January the 10th, that's the day of the weigh-in, from WBC female boxer middleweight world champion Alejandro Jimenez has yielded an adverse finding for a banned substance. What is this substance called? The WBC will follow its customary protocol by, among other steps, affording champion Jimenez the opportunity to witness the opening of the B sample or send a representative to do so. And death indication from the champion received due process. Okay. So basically, we don't, you know, we're waiting on more news. But, you know, all that shit is expensive. The testing, obviously, you know, other people were thinking like fans and like, wait a minute, you lost all that weight and you looking like this. You know, we definitely going to test you. If you didn't have, if you didn't get a chance to see the fight, excellent fight. You know, and a lot of people were saying that for Sean Cruz is earned for the man. Here, let me pull her up, by the way, for those who don't know who she is, if you didn't see the fight. It's probably, it, it is, I'm not going to say probably, it is the best women's fight I've seen this year. And pretty much I cover all televised women's fights. You know, here's her right here. Um, it's crazy, man. It's sad. You know, it's sad. It's sad. And a lot of people was wondering, like, you know, like, for example, women like Vada drug testing is expensive. And a lot of women's boxing matches don't have it because of how expensive it is, you know. But clearly, well, in my opinion, there's a lot of red flags. There's there's been a lot. There's been some red flags, especially for me. I even said it in a video I did. I'm going to link that video for those who didn't see it. You know, 
And for crying out loud, look at her hands. All this shit is crazy to me. But whatever, man. Due process. Innocent until proven guilty. But the court of public opinion is fucking. If she thought she was getting abused before, like people saying she was a dude and all that, like they're going to be like, oh, you know, drug cheat. So she's got to fucking overcome that shit. I'm Teach Street Controversy with FightView360.com. We cover every single major fight live. You know, uh, for Sean Cruz Desern was at the uh, J Rock J Saw uh, J Rock Williams Jason Rosario fight, but she wasn't doing any interviews, man. I don't like when I don't like, especially when you know, no disrespect, but I don't like when um, you know, like I think that they should be clamoring to get all the interviews they can get, especially women's boxing. Like talk to everybody. Like you got to get your name out there. You know, I ain't really dig that part. You know, but whatever. I'm T Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Please subscribe.